What's up guys, I'm going to be giving you a few quick ways to improve your performance with your PS2 or GameCube emulator and any other emulator you're using, but specifically those two. So, one of the things you can do is you can overclock your graphics card. If you have an NVIDIA card, you should get this program and just fiddle around with this and find what you can you know, overclock it to without crashing your card, etc. For me, this is pretty stable, so I just use this. So there's the graphics overclock that will help your performance. Also download this program called Throttle Stop. It stops your uh, CPU from throttling itself. Uh, this happens a lot with laptops. Laptops will often throttle itself to uh, 1.6 gigahertz for no reason. Uh, and this will stop that. So download this program, turn it on, set your multiplier to, you know, whatever. And that will stop it. So... Not only this, you can go to your task manager, go to whatever your emulator is, so like this for the PS2 emulator, go to set priority and put it on high, instead of normal put it on high, that'll help. Last but not least, you can do this, but it requires a decent amount of RAM, um, at least at least 6 gigabytes of RAM, but uh, 16 gigabytes is what you're probably want, going to want. Uh, you can go here, and you can create basically a, a virtual hard drive using your RAM. So if you wanted to put a, let's say, 4 gigabyte PS2 game on your uh, RAM, you can do this. You can create that. As you can see, it's right there. So then you would just put your game into this virtual drive. And then you can uh, load your game from that. And because it's using your RAM instead of your SSD or your uh, hard drive, it'll load much faster. And why this helps is because oftentimes in emulators, it'll have to randomly load something from the hard drive. And unlike in a, you know, unemulated game, it'll actually like make the game stutter to do that. In unemulated games, it won't do that, but in emulated games, it will. So doing this will help a lot, it'll help load times, it'll stop stuttering, all kinds of things. But like I said, the bad thing about this is you need quite a bit of RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I can get a, I can give up 4 gigabytes of RAM just fine. But yeah, those are, uh, those are many ways you can increase your emulator performance. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below, I'll try to answer them. And see you later.